pass? Uh, I uh, I started from the uh, K corner. Uh, so let me first show you a little bit of the environment and, uh, and uh, uh, how uh, how the new terrain reacts and how the new vegetation reacts on the shooting. Then I will show a little bit of the havoc. Yes, finally after the many years, uh, we we brought what we were promising for like I think three or four years. Not we are not destroying buildings no, and it's not affecting gameplay, but uh, it's it's a visual and uh, it actually. It's, it's pretty cool, you, you will see. And then uh, my favorite one, I will actually show the water, uh, water effects uh, uh, down in the middle of the map. Okay, that sounds great. Oh my god, you, you, you brought the part one again, right? <laughs> uh, hopefully this time, yeah, I can see that you, you brought also fire extinguisher. Good job. On the last uh, stream, you actually said that this is one of your favorite tanks, so we decided to go with this one. <laughs> it is. I actually brought that best to him at some point because he was not playing playing leopard one at all and oh. <laughs> there, uh, as you can see there is actually full dynamic turn deformation so when i'm driving i'm actually really creating a track behind me uh, in the terrain so here we will see. it's actually dynamic so it's not only texture it is actually real deformation of the terrain. Uh, then, together with that, we were actually completely reworking the vegetation system. So now, well, not only wind is actually happening, but if I shoot, the pressure wave from the gun is uh, is gonna affect the uh, the vegetation. Oh, oh! I haven't tried that out when I played. <laughs> wow! <laughs> and if there is actually, if you are in fields or if you are in high grass, it will it will do exactly the same. So yeah. it's actually one of my favorite parts. Integration. Oh. So these objects are real objects. You can actually play a small billiard with them around. You can shoot them, you can push them in front of you. They really react. It's not anymore uh, just an animation of an edge. Uh, there are some bugs, as you can see, they are a little bit bumpy on my tail. Uh, but uh, you can actually play, play quite a bit uh, with the environment. At the same time, uh, uh, Miles already mentioned that we are not really doing building destruction. Uh, mechanically, yes, we can. However, it will have a very nasty consequences on the gameplay because a lot of safe zones, a lot of possessions people are used to and uh, know how to play from will be uh, basically destroyed and disappeared. It doesn't mean that in some future we will not come up with some different ideas how to utilize the system so our main objective here was to implement it to have it here now to find a good way it's a different challenge huh? it's a different that makes sense. objective let me now show let me now show you my favorite part and that's actually uh, on the vg fest when we were showing it first time there was a lot of players who just stand around that and didn't get anywhere else so as you can see, the water reacts completely on your movement. It's dynamic, it's calculated. So the pressure is actually going around your tank, it reacts on your braking. Uh, it's actually pretty neat. And my favorite one is shooting. Not only a uh, new effect, but actually the pressure wave that you could see from the nature is happening even in the water. Mm. You can imagine that some, uh, on some of the maps, uh, this, will, this will really increase the, uh, the graphical fidelity. Also linked with the caliber of the gun, so if you're shooting something bigger, the wave will be obviously bigger. I can see people starting up training rooms just to try this out and just shoot. <laughs> well, it, it was funny because when, when we were showing it first time in the in WG Fest, uh, there was a lot of players who actually didn't get from the water. Like literally, they just spent the time in the water and were shooting and having fun with all the effects that uh, we added to the game. For me personally, that it's really cool because I am doing YouTube videos still on my account. So when you do the thumbnail for the video, you are looking for a really cool scene that you can show, you know, on the thumbnail. So I can imagine one of these explosions in the water. Well, I, it, it's it's a, I think it's very brave word without losing performance whatsoever. But we we did the best job possible not to. We actually added quite a, cool, uh, a few cool things into the map and the guys were telling me like, hey, you definitely must show some of them, so I hope that I will not forget. So, and again, this microphone trick, so Milish can command whatever he is uh, trying to accomplish in here. Uh, meanwhile, everything that was working on the previous map works here as well, so it's not per map, it's systemic right now, it works everywhere. So, uh, so as you can see, uh, 
literature, we added a few cool objects, like uh, one Zeppelin was actually crashed over there, one Zeppelin over us, uh, lots of planes flying all over the place. So we are we are not trying just to actually increase what is next to you, but even around you, and uh, to make it uh, as cool as possible. How am I supposed to shoot things when I'm just looking at the scenery? <laughs> That's the question, I suppose. Uh, maybe for for a few first games, everybody will agree to to, to install no fire zone. I, I have already a, a very plus. Uh, something that's a really huge plus from this is that whenever I get destroyed, it's going to be so pretty that I'm going to be happy about it probably. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see soon. So so as you can see, even the high grass reacts on the shooting. Yeah. <laughs> and all the walls around are actually destructible with the hubble. Uh, the bigger buildings are actually still something we are working on, but the, 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 some of the small uh, small effects are pretty cool, and you can have a lots of fun uh, on, uh, on your machine. Uh, so just 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 uh, notice how the horizon line changes the perception of the map. Is it? It indeed feels that there is an like, enormous space around you. Or, or from all the directions, and uh, it's a pretty realistic setup now. And actually, all of this space, this is actually not 2D. All of this is actually 3D modeling really? that happened around. Wow. Same, same goes with FX and, and everything else. I, this is one of my favorite maps. For some reason, I'm not sure why. I just love this map, and this looks... I can tell you that sometimes I'm not even sure where you are, and then I realize it, and oh my god, the difference is huge. Yeah, so th th this is exactly the effect I was mentioning earlier on. The, the first impression is I don't know this map anymore. And uh, we really try to keep that you know, muscular memory feeling. So if you start to do what you are used to do, you suddenly find yourself in the, in the correct positions, uh, under the correct strategic advantage, etc., etc. So it, it was extremely important. So you just follow your previous instinct and you get up, it, you get to the same positions as before. It just looks different. And there was a lot of discussion between me and Andre actually about, uh, about specifically this part because one thing is, as Andre said, we are trying to preserve as much to game as possible. Of course, it's not always possible with uh, each of the objects on the scene, uh, but our guys are actually trying to do uh, the, the best work on preserving all the game elements. I think the console version has, you know, a long way to go to catch up with this. I'm, I'm going to have a discussion with our specialist, Yuriko, who is really into the console version, and I like that version as well, but this, well, they have, yeah. uh, you know, something that they have to achieve. <laughs> yeah, it looks amazing. We ourselves, we can, can't wait the moment till we will finish this, this work. Work is cut up for them, that's for sure. This is awesome. Wow, the textures are also really, really nice. At, at some point, I, I do remember when we were testing one of the first maps, I think it was Monastery. Um, uh, I was driving around in uh, T62A, uh, I believe, and I was shooting windows. I got that <laughs> feeling at some point that it, uh, the explosion effect it looks look pretty realistic when you hit a window for some reason <laughs> and I was driving around trying to aim and shoot windows and see how it goes is it is it is it indeed true without asking anybody like 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 really did we did that <laughs> well actually no, no not really but uh, it, it would be probably too much <laughs> even, even for this uh, even for this initiative and did I see it correctly before when you were driving in the water that there's a kind of a shock wave traveling out from your gun when you're shooting? Exactly. Uh, the shock wave is actually pro, uh, a, a basically physical, a physical based shock wave are all over the place. So it's not so just an animation, it's, no, it's no, actually no, no. physically this there. Is actually for, this is actually a real reaction. And as I said, even the, uh, like I will show you here in the environment uh, that you can see that even grass immediately reacted as soon as okay. I actually showed. Or if you go to uh, some of the trees or uh, or bushes, let me actually get there. They actually react the same way. Oh. So they really react in a moment when you shoot. The same works for the water. 
So uh, this is client based. Uh, so no, you cannot actually see it in case that uh, uh, it's actually rather it's not uh, visible on your machine because it, it might actually give, uh, change the gameplay quite a bit. But uh, at, the, at the same time, it gives quite a bit of visual fidelity. And uh, when we had actually 15, 15, uh, 15 to 15 shootout uh, with the new tracers and new effects, the battlefield uh, looks quite real. I can imagine. I'm, I love World of Tanks, but this just oh, this yeah, blew me away. <laughs> it's absolutely stunning. I mean, I saw. I think I played one map, and uh, it was at Wargaming Fest. I haven't actually managed to play the ones here, so I'm kind of looking at this for the first time as well. And it's just, it's amazing. It, uh, it also unlocks a lot of the other potential possibilities for us. Uh, it's probably too early to talk about many of them, but uh, we need a lot of technical solutions that will allow us to move on with the visual quality of the maps altogether. And at the end, as I said, with the gameplay uh, features as well on the maps. So, if we want to, theoretically, let's say we can build a night map now. That was impossible to do before. Uh, well, okay. Practically, this is a still a big question. Should we or should we not? Uh, but this, so this new renderer, because this is basically a new renderer, right? Yes. This uh, actually opens up a lot of new possibilities for us in the future. It's a different bits of a new renderer. So let's say a lightning uh, process and that will allow us to, to have a now significantly bigger amount of uh, light sources of different types that emulate, I don't know, projectors and fires or whatever else. The uh, gameplay value of that is kind of uh, should be proven first, but uh, technology allows us to do things like that now. That's awesome. Okay, let's now try to actually swap to the last one to Himmelsdorf. Okay, so guys, uh, can we swap to Himmelsdorf? Let's see who is going to come out on top. Yep. A little bit of one-on-one -on -one action going on here. Come on, Milos, you can do that. Be careful, because Kai is really good. He's proven it several times. Well, he didn't prove it that much with the Primo Victoria, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> but maybe he can do it now. Ah, oh, no. Oh, okay. Once again. On, on the last one, I will really try to get him, actually. Then we can actually... Detail on the ground. Yes, of course. I mean, this is probably one of the maps that everyone is very familiar with, so yes, the difference is going to be very striking. Uh, and here, it's, a, it's a, actually a pretty good example of the map where the visual differences are not playing that uh, strong shock effect on, 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 on an observer. So yes, it, it works, it looks totally different, uh, it looks much more beautiful, but the, uh, there is no uh, this feeling of unfam unfamiliarity thanks to the uh, lots of uh, objects that look kind of similar. Because the layout is much more set, right? Because you are kind of in the city, you, the streets are there, so it's much easier to know where to you are exactly. Yes, much to, more orient familiar, to, as you said. to orient yourself in space, yes. So let me show actually one of the uh, small surprises that the guys prepared for us. And that one is actually here on the side of the river. Whoa. Oh my god. So as you can see, we have actually a pretty beautiful piece of art parked here in the water, and we are really simulating the, one of the um, one of the harbors in uh, in Germany uh, during the end of the war. Uh, they actually even showed me pictures of uh, of similar port that uh, was was realistically actually taken from from the Second World War. But uh, my favorite one, and uh, I already showed it once, but let me actually get some speed and I will show you once again. I call it the Billy Art. It's actually quite a huge formation of, uh, of gas barrels, and you can have some fun on, on the map with them. <laughs> a little bit of Michael Bay effect going on. Uh, exactly. There. <laughs> so if you get them actually in a bit higher uh, higher speed, I already managed almost every single one of these bars to get on the other side of the map. Oh, so. so there's a little bit of mini game going on there. Right? <laughs> yeah, theoretically, it is possible. Yeah. Then imagine this medal. I know. Uh, 200 barrels transferred or something like that. Ooh, I can already see a couple of really interesting contest ideas with that, to be honest. And uh, as you can see, the destruction component in the, in the city map plays a significantly bigger role because there are much more objects 
by, by environment, by the context, much more objects that uh, are destroyable and will fall into pieces in an intricate and interesting way. I just love the, the edge of the map, which is basically not there. Uh, it's, just, it's like a city. Could, could, could you imagine when you were playing Himmelsdorf before that behind that railway station there will be this enormous port? I never was thinking no. this way. We actually had quite a bit of problem with it. Uh, as you can see, uh, we introduced a little bit new uh, new edge on the map because previously it was literally a line on the ground. But with all the new effects and all the new terrain, it wasn't so visible and wasn't so clear to player that, hey, here the map actually ends. For the uh, old players, it's easier, but for especially for the new players, there was a lot of reactions in a way of, well, it looks like I can continue, and especially on the open maps with the grass in there, it wasn't visible enough. So we had to even go to su uh, such a details like this, and now instead of being actually uh, just draw line on the environment, it's actually a basically a, some a plane. Uh, exactly, it's a plane uh, that mm -hmm. faces away uh, around the, around the map because otherwise it wouldn't be clear enough that the map ends there. It looks pretty good. It, it was a, one of the effects of uh, the early tests we had. Uh, when, when the landscape is kind of hilly, uh, you were often missing the edge. And we're thinking, like, you know, one plane, okay, so now I can, I can circle this guy around that hill. And that hill actually exists behind the bar, borderline of the map. Whoa, you actually really confused me with that one. Whoa, there's, there's no edge. Previously, there was a wall or something here, right? Yes. Oh my god. So and you can here, shoot over here it. Here you can actually see that uh, I wasn't joking that this is actually real terrain. If you shoot, the water is there. <laughs> okay, I, to be honest, I kind of feel like a small child. You know, like it's Christmas. <laughs> but that's sort of an effect we tried to achieve. Okay, it was achieved. <laughs> There was a lot of work actually put into this one, and as I said, here you can see that the map looks bigger than it because previously all of these were walls, but now you really feel like you are in the middle of a city and uh, not just in a, in a small box uh, or small town somewhere in the middle, but it's actually just walled around. And uh, I think for, for uh, Grand Battle maps, it, it will, the feeling will become even bigger because... So uh, we are also doing this for Grand Battles? For every, for every map we, we do have in the game. That's going to be huge and awesome. I, experience. I guess that's going to be a lot of shells flying around. So with all these effects, it's like a, basically the perfect opportunity for us to shoot some videos. Awesome. Absolutely. <laughs> I can already see the RNG videos, for example. A couple of really cool GIFs can be made out of those. <laughs> well, not only GIFs, I, I, I I'm, hope. I'm pretty sure there are going to be much more than just GIFs. Ooh, the whole thing is like much, I guess the size is the same, but it looks much more open. Mm -hmm. Yes, absolutely. That's uh, exactly the part of the effort I, we were mm, talking a lot before. But we wanted to make sure that every maneuver you are used to do is doable and, it, and doable in the same manner as it was before, while visual is the same, significantly more striking and impressive and looks more real at the end. Because this is like, this is a castle, I mean, uh, you can you can go outside if you're living somewhere in, I don't know, Germany. This is one of the most iconic locations in World of Tanks, right? Yes, it's absolutely. It so looks completely different, but it looks much, much better. Yeah. Well, we are really happy for that, but uh, as you can see, there is a lot of work on that. So that's one reason why uh, we, we cannot go out yet, because we have actually, uh, all of these maps are almost done. There are still some bugs around, and you could even see in the internet here, I was trying to avoid one place because I noticed that the water <laughs> is broken. You know, like I hope that no one actually saw it, um, but the, the reaction actually wasn't there, sorry for that. Uh, but we are hoping, we, we want to go with not only a few maps, but uh, for the matchmaker reason and for the reason of uh, uh, not going one by one, but actually protecting the experience that player wants, uh, we have to prepare a big bunch of maps 